That's how you do number one, you graph, you draw that horizontal line. Number two, you draw that vertical line, red line. Three, that purple line. Four, put in all those blue dots. Five, six, okay, uh, seven, just like this. Eight, reflect over y negative one, graphing y negative one. Okay. The letter J is on that reflection line, so leave it there. Now H goes over it, so it goes over it to the other side. Um, distance of 5, so over the other side, the distance of 3, 4, 5, right there, that's H. And I is directly, 3 over I is going over it right there. And there you go, that's a reflection over J. Um, here, reflection Y1, Y1 is right there, that's where Y1 is, here's Y and that's 1, reflect L over here, reflect K over here, go over that, M going over that, um, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4 is right there, connect those new dots, and that's reflection over y negative y1. Okay, where describe the ref line of reflection in each? I just want you to draw it. So here it's two away, it would make sense. That's four. Right here is three and three, so reflection over y x negative two. That's the reflection line. Um so here if I draw it there is it even yeah that's quite even so at 2 right y equals to 2 3 and 3 yep that works so y equals to 2 that's a reflection line all are all image or new image that result from a reflection always congruent to original figure yes it is always congruent because a shape never change with a reflection. Stays the same, okay? Here's number 10. All that. A, B, C. What do you need to learn? Uh, remember number 11, number 12, right there is important, 12A, 12C and D, that's 12C right there, 12D right there, 13's right there. Oh, then I went back to number nine. Anyways, one distance and area there. Perimeter is here. The number 10, which I numbered wrong. That's how you do those. Okay, hope that helps.